found a shiny. Let's make a thumbnail. Well, what should I make that will make people go, I must watch that. So Zekrom has already been released and I actually missed out the raid hour which was yesterday as Pokemon Go news saying that Mega Evolution is coming in the coming months I think by 2020, end of, end of this year maybe, who knows and also in relation to the expansion of the DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield Galarian Farfetch has been released so as you can see in the screen right now there's a lot of Galarian Farfetch around and it's only, be, it's only going to be here for 24 hours 24 hours guys so make sure you go out there and catch as many as you can uh, but for the time being there's none of them spawning around me I think I'm just going to put instance after this what I mean by after this we are going to be doing a Zekrom raid right now since I missed out Zekrom raid uh, yesterday uh, we're going to do one right now because why not okay cool we have people we have people as you guys know Zekrom is the evolution of Beedrill <laughs> The only reason I said that is because of the tail. Like, Zekrom's tail looks like Beedrill's. I don't know. All, all I know is, Weedle is going to be a shiny Pokemon in this month's Community Day. So yeah, look out for that because uh, we're going to be able to have shiny Weedle, which is going to have shiny Beedrill, which then is going to have shiny Mega Beedrill soon. So let me know in the comment section, what is the one Mega Pokemon that you guys are looking for the most? For me personally, <clears throat> God, I like Sceptile. Blaziken as well. Uh, I really like Gengar, obviously. I like Pinsers. Pinsers Mega Form is not bad. Sable Island is interesting as well, the one with the very big gem, you know. Mega Ampharos, you know, finally we can use Dragon Pulse with Stab, you know. Here we go, guys. Zekrom, our first ever Zekrom. Wow, that guy is cool. Yeah, and I really like the tail part, it's interesting. It's a very interesting, you know, feature to this Pokemon <laughs> because there's a lot of Pokemon Go news going on right now. I kind of have to do it now, you know, even though I'm partly working right now. Anyway, so we're gonna do this really quickly so I can go back to work. Zekrom down. Let's hope we can catch this on the first try because, you know, I want this in my Pokedex entry. Two two eight one. I think that's okay. Two three something is the hundred percent. All right, look at that, Zekrom. Okay, we're just gonna use Golden. Uh, Golden Raspberry all the way. Alright, let's find out if I can get a first excellent throw on this. And yes, I can. I didn't get excellent. No! Okay, guys, we are down to our last ball, and I feel like I might not catch this. Fingers crossed. Come on! <gasps> Dude, last ball! Clutch! That was clutch. That was really clutch. Pokedex entry, thank god, I was so worried. Yeah, here we go. We caught so many legendaries already for Gen 5. This is amazing. Wow, this is actually really good. This is really good. 2281. Awesome stuff. Uh, I think Galarian Farfetch is gonna expire by 9 p.m. today, my time. So we're definitely gonna catch one uh, in between that. And I kinda have to go back to work first before I can catch this Farfetch. So I'll see you guys when I encounter one. So I set down an incense. Hopefully, for the next hour, I can find this Farfetch. Um, Obviously, I could just go out and go to any of these poker stops and get it, but the thing is, I'm still working right now for another hour or so. In the meantime, what we're going to do is, okay, we're going to evolve our Galarian Zigzagoon to Obstagoon. So, yeah, brand new Pokemon. Here we go, guys. Uh, wait, I forgot to check the IV for this guy. This guy is actually not bad. Yeah, it's alright. I'll just take him. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, you have to hatch this from the 7km eggs. And right now, all the 7km eggs is hatching all the Galarian form. Oh, wait. Uh, well, all kinds of different forms. I really like how they make Galarian like Zigzagoon and Linoon and Obstagoon into like this very death metal kind of look, you know? Look at that! Nice! Obstagoon! The thing is, I don't know if there's going to be a shiny possibility for this. Maybe there is. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys managed to get a shiny one for this. But yeah, dark and normal type, man. Obstagoon! Okay, the moment I just turn off the clip, the moment I just turn off that clip, this one popped up. Look, Galeria Farfetch, guys, we can see it. Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong one. 
Here it is. Galarian Farfetch, guys. Wow, this guy looks kind of cool. You know. Yes, look at that. I love it when he used that leak to whack you and stuff. If you don't even have a Farfetch, this would be Pokedex entry. But if you already have a Farfetch, this would just be a extra, you know. We got a Galarian Farfetch. Yeah, man. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get a really good IV on for the next few hours. The thing about Farfetch is because they're regional lock. So I'm afraid that in the future, Galarian Farfetch is only gonna be, you know, just for Japan and Korea only. Check this out guys, there's this daily guaranteed Pokemon encounter and daily free boxes. So basically, every single day we're gonna get at least one encounter that's gonna appear next to you. And we're gonna get daily free boxes. So, uh, daily free encounter, you're gonna see a Pokemon like this with that little ring at the bottom. So if you see a ring at the bottom, it means that it's your daily Pokemon. And if you close the game and you don't catch it, it will appear everywhere you go. I don't know if you walk away and subway disappear or something like that. Uh, I haven't tried it since I'm at home the whole time. Anyway, uh, let's check the box and stuff, the daily box. I think there should be one here. I know there are some people that do not have it. I think I'm one of those people right now. Uh, daily box. Yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, I don't have a daily box. Oh well. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, right now it's the summer solstice. Sorry, <clears throat> gotta drink some water. So right now it's a summer solstice event. So let's check out what does it have to say. Basically the summer solstice event is this one. Chinese Fairy arrives and Lunato and Sora will be changing region during the solstice theme event. So on June 19th to June 24th, there's a lot of stuff going on. As you can see, wow, there's a lot of stuff to read through. Basically, shiny Clefairies, that's what we're looking for. And shiny Lunatone and shiny Solrock. So, we always get a uh, Lunatone here. So, I want to get a shiny Lunatone first before it disappears to the other side of the world. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Shiny Dwebo is coming out as well on June 26th. Uh, wow, and then after that, there's gonna be pincer raid day the week after that going on. And the good thing is that right now in Singapore, it's phase two, meaning that we can actually go out, go to restaurants, dine in, and we can actually eat. Uh, this means I can actually go out and vlog. Although, I'm hoping that my camera doesn't screw up. I'm actually looking for a new camera this weekend or on the next weekend after that. I, I know there's gonna be a lot of people in everywhere in every restaurant. It's gonna rain again. Look at the outside. Why is the sky so dark again? It's community day. We're supposed to go out, like today, but no, we can't. Streets are wet as well, so. Yep, the streets are wet. And just like that, community day has started for Pokemon Go for Weedle. So Weedle is actually a Pokemon that is being voted by you guys, the community. And honestly, I didn't really vote for Weedle, so. Yeah, not really my first choice. But what we're going to do is we're going to put an incense down. We're going to put some star piece down because that's going to be a lot of stardust to collect during the six hours. And hopefully we can get a shiny as soon as possible because no one, honestly, I'm not going to be playing for the entire six hours because it's just Weedle. But uh, I am interested in the stardust. I, I don't know. We just need three shinies because honestly, we just want the uh, shiny B drill to have, what do you call it? Drill run for a charge move. Actually, I wanted to go out and hunt and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have to because look at that, we have our shiny Weedle right here. <laughs> oh my god, that was quick. So yeah, guys, look, shiny Weedle doesn't really look any much different. It's just very... It's a very subtle color change, you know? Guys, that was fast. That was like two minutes after three checks, you know? Wow, that was simple. Mm-hmm. Anyway, like I said, we're going to be looking for maybe a few, like three or something, and that's six hours, I don't care, you know, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get quite a number of them. I actually wanted to go out and raid, uh, but then it started to rain, as you guys can see just now, and, you know, because Singapore right now is phase two, as I mentioned before, we can actually go out and walk around and stuff, so I wanted to go to the town area, but uh, maybe not this week, because there's too many people out right now, since, you know, we just reopened and stuff, so we're gonna take a break from this a bit, uh, maybe we'll just raid around the park area near my house, and hopefully we can get, you know, some good spawns and a raid. Okay, so that happened again. Basically my clip got, uh, you know, corrupted and stuff by the camera because, I don't know, memory card issue. Anyway, I caught another shiny, so... Yeah, cool. Second shiny we do. It's not bad. 
uh, maybe we can try to see if we can get a very good one so we can use it for Great League. Because I heard, I think Beedro might be good in Great League. Not sure about Ultra Beedro. I really need to find a new camera now. Like, I think tomorrow onwards. This is getting annoying. Four minutes and we got our third shinies. I guess we are done with catching shinies. Yeah, three shinies in 30 minutes. That's kind of cool. Uh, I, should I evolve one right now? I, I, I mean, why not, right? Okay, hold on. Let me catch this guy really quick. Let's go with the less attack one. Because great leak, you know. Boom! Green Kakuna. Kakuna to B drill that learns B uh, drill run. I was going to say B run. Okay, I'm not using the shiny form because the blue eyes really threw me off. But hey, we have our shiny Beedrill. Pokemon Sword now has a new DLC, so I kind of bought it already. So you are going to be playing this a lot. And also not to mention, if you guys are a big fan of PS4, Last of Us 2 is out as well. So yeah, lots of game to play. That's why I can't really get hung up on this um, uh, Weedle community day. It's just Weedle, you know? It's not really like a, oh my god, I must have it kind of thing. I already have it. I believe this is like my 7th shiny Weedle already, but the thing is, I could have gotten 9. That's because 2 of them I was going to record it, then somehow the game crashed and then I couldn't catch it, and then yeah, I lost 2 shiny Pokemon. Anyway, well at least we got this shiny Weedle. So far I haven't gotten any good Ivy's shiny Weedles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, we have 8. Plus 2 more that I lost, so that's 10. Honestly, do you guys really like Weedle Community Day? Because, alright, so today is the next day already. I'm already done with Weedle Community Day and I really, really did not like it. For one reason. Only one reason. Why is Weedle even in the Community Day? Like, okay, I'm not gonna bash it because obviously this is a community chosen choice. But, come on guys, you know, like, if it was a Sand Shrew, for example, right? We would have gotten a Lodan Sand Shrew and Sand Shrew in both their shiny forms. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't have that. I don't have that. Even if I have one of them, I want the other one too. Right? So, to get Weedle as a community day... Oh, I... Let me know. Do you guys enjoy that 6 hours Weedle catch? I mean, the Stardust is great. I mean, if it's other Pokemon, it would be even better, right? I'm just saying. So anyway, uh, for me, it's not particularly the best community day for me, content-wise. I uh, wasn't really excited to really catch so many shiny Weedles. I stopped after like... 8 or something. I only played 3 hours. So then after that, I did something else. The next one we're gonna get is Ghastly. Uh, that's kinda nice. So Ghastly is a Pokemon I don't have a shiny form. I have a shiny Gengar from the shiny Gengar raid the first time it was released. But I don't have a shiny Ghastly yet. So that's kinda nice. And we're kinda doing a Zekron raid really quickly right now because, well, we are still looking for a very good IV Zekron. And it's still raining outside guys, just when I was about to go out again. It's been raining every day. Like, every single day, it's been raining. And when it's not raining, I take the chance to run and then it rains like 30 minutes after I finish running. Come on, 2, 3 something, 2, 3 something, 2, 3 something, 2, 2, 2, 4. Ooh, wow. Okay, good thing we already caught this guy, so we're just gonna catch him for candy. Anyway guys, if you guys are here for the thumbnail, obviously, I think majority of you guys are here for the thumbnail. Here it is, okay? The thumbnail of the shiny Pokemon that I caught, I think the past week. I'm really really happy that I got this shiny Chansey. It was one of the most fluke shinies ever. I was just running around and we all know that Chanseys are not spawning as much. And to get it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's great. Finally, I got a shiny Chansey. I can finally evolve it to a Blissey. I don't know if I'm going to ever do that. Anyway, that'll be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how was your community day and your Zekrom catch and any other shiny that you caught over the week. Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully outside.